Taurus. Welcome to your spirit messages for the month of November. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any information you need. Um, personal readings, how to book one, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there. So please do go check it out. And thank you to um, all my new subscribers. Thank you to all those who have reached out for personal reading and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or a denotion, denotion, yeah, okay, donation <laughs> to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you. Thank you for all your support. It really does mean a lot to me and helping with the channel's growth, being a part of that and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So the more you like, comment, the more the uh, readings will get circulated and the more uh, they will reach the people that need to hear them. So thank you, thank you. Okay, Taurus, let's see what Spirit wants to tell you. And this can be for whenever you see this, tell whenever I do consider all my readings timeless, even though they're dated. That's just so the view viewers know uh, in which order I uploaded them. So this is for what you need to know right now when you watch this, whenever that is for Taurus. So hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy November. All right, I'm going to pull three oracles from each deck and then we'll clarify with a few tarot. So if you want to skip ahead, tell all, you know, that's totally fine. So let's get three messages for Taurus. What do they need to know at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Messages for Taurus, please. Messages for Taurus. One more. One more message for Taurus. Okay. So we got three from that deck. Can you believe we're going in December already? This, this is the last reading. You're my last reading for uh, November. And then I'm going to be starting the December readings already. And I'll be decorated for winter, Christmas, whatever you want to call it. So let's see what we have for Taurus. What are the messages? Oh, okay. It's quick. Messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. That one's sticking out. All right. Three from this deck, and then we'll look at your messages. All the decks are always pre-shuffle cut ahead of time, but I do like to shuffle just a little bit more on camera for fresh energy. All right. One, two, one more for Taurus. There we go. All right. Let's see what we have for Taurus. Now, this deck I may look in the book, and probably this deck too, so let's see what we have here. We have Turtle, Mother Earth. We have 34 here, which is seven. And pardon my nails. I didn't have time to redo them. I do work a full-time job. And it's, it's a very uh, labor-intensive job. And my nail polish peels all day long. I didn't have time to touch it up or redo it. So And I wanted to get the readings done. So please uh, forgive my nails. <laughs> Okay, so we have Turtle Mother Earth 7 here. 7 is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So I may read uh, Mother Earth. You know, maybe you need to get more in tune and touch. Get out in nature more. Ground yourself. Um, grounding means, you know, going out and just like being one with like Earth and just nature and everything. And usually, you know, if you touch the Earth like I know it's getting cold now, but with your bare feet or touch a tree and just kind of take in that energy. And sometimes they can absorb negative energy out of you. So it's called grounding. So maybe some of you need to do that. Get moon, more in touch and in tune with um, nature. Okay, we have here Bat Rebirth, nine. So nine can be about almost coming to a completion because you... In tarot, you go from 9 to 10. 10 is the ending, and then you start over at 1. So some of you may be ending a completion here, because we do have rebirth. So you're either transforming uh, something, you, yourself, something in your life, could be coming to an end. And it's like you're going through a whole transformational rebirthing process, um, in a way. All right, so what do we have here? We have 42, Dower... Uh, 
Bowerbird Dowry. 42. Six is about harmony, peace, balance, healing energy. Dowry, I believe, is about like your foundation, your home, your nest, you know. So something here to do with your home. So maybe some of you are moving. So Mother Earth, Rebirth, and Dowries. Maybe some of you are moving. Packing up and moving. Cross country. Or maybe to a different state, different town or something. Or maybe you're moving from an apartment to a house. It's like a big transformation for you. Like you're finally filing finally feeling like you're having your own space, your own place. Um, especially with dowry here is about your home, your nest, your foundation, like building, build, you know, building it. You see this bird is building his nest, his foundation. Hmm. Well, it may, may have been a slow process with the turtle here. Turtles, you know, slow. So it might have been a slow moving process, like a rebirth, a transformation. And I feel like some of you, it's like maybe you've been working hard, saving up to buy your very own home. Maybe it's your first home. Wow, okay. So we're going to clarify. And like I said, I might read a little bit um, out of the book here. So we have prosperity. Wow. Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Prosperity. And I just, didn't I just say working hard and saving your money? And here we have prosperity. So that's just clarifying <clears throat> what I said. You, you, and you have this cornucopia here of like abundance. So I feel like, or you be, could have come into some, some abundance that came your way or prosperity. And it's helping you in this process. Or if you're worried, spirit wants you to know everything will be fine. It's been a slow, long, hard process through this transformation that you will have this dowry, that you will build, you will have this place. You may have unexpected help, prosperity, abundance that comes into you. Or something, you know, maybe a friend helps you or maybe you, you know, win a little bit of money with the lottery or um, you get a raise, promotion or something that will help you here. Wow, you'll be able to manifest your dreams into reality here. So we have counselor, Archangel Azrael. You are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. So not only may you have that spirit about you, but spirit also, I'm getting too, if you need counseling, whether it's financial or whatever here, life counseling, life coach, I don't know, some sort of counseling therapy here. To make sure you're taking the right steps, moving forward, you know, all the T's across, all the I's are dotted, you know, uh, making sure everything goes smoothly. It could be, you know, not just a counselor, it could be someone in the legal field, you know, like a lawyer or something, making sure that everything goes smoothly for you. Okay. So we have here clear audience. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind. Or from other people. So this is paying attention to uh, your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, your thoughts, um, your spirit guides, your angels may be communicating with you and you may be hearing these thoughts, think you're crazy or you may think, you know, you're making stuff up in your head, but you may have a clear audience. So pay attention to that. If you've been wondering about that, spirit is confirming that for you, for some of you. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the dream walker. Wow. So, <laughs> and over here, this says prosperity, manifest your dreams into reality. And now we have here the dream walker. Dreams, the collective good, illusions. So again, walking your dreams, you know, making your dreams become reality. Eight is all about taking action, movement, travel. Again, I feel like some of you are moving and it's your, like you're getting maybe even your dream home here. And maybe you thought it would never happen. Oh, it was just a, a dream, an illusion. It would never happen. But you may be getting uh, your your dream here. Wow, okay. So now we have the rainbow prince, compensation, perseverance. So again, eight, again, what travel, communication, action, movement. So, wow. So 
And I just noticed here, four and two is six, set three, four is seven. We have two eights here, and then we have nine. So we have six, seven, eight, nine. And that's progression. So things are going, coming to a completion for you. Something you've been working hard for, something you've been striving for. For some of you, I feel it's getting buying your uh, own home or something like that. It's coming to completion. You may have to compensate in some ways, or if you feel like, I don't really want to compensate this for that or whatever here. But not to give up, to keep moving and, you know, keep moving on, keep striving forward. You know, use all your good qualities, you know, as compensation for what maybe you lack moving forward. Maybe whatever you lack, if it's like, okay, I'm not good at finances, but I'm good at planning the move or this and that, but my I'm terrible. So maybe that's where you need a counselor here, a financial counselor or something like that. But telling you not to give up. And what do we have here? The Desert Prince, Survival, False Promises, 19, which is 10. And there's the completion. Wow. So we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow. <laughs> so the completion here, um, survival. So yeah, you will survive this. You will get through this. False Promises, I don't know if somebody promised you things and they didn't follow through. Um you know, that could be for some of you, but you survived. You know, maybe this is why it was a long, hard battle. You know, maybe pe people, places, things promised you things and they fell through. They didn't work out here, but you kept moving, fighting on, persevering on, persevering on. Wow. Okay. So I want to read a little bit about uh, Turtle here, number 34, before I clarify that. So it says, you are being prepared for profound change in the form of healing regarding family issues, secrets, etc., personal growth and awakening of sorts. You are literally being prepared for rebirth. Wow, and we had rebirth that came out right after that. Holy crap. Emergence and a return to clarity. You are also being reconnected in a sacred way to the creative force of the, of the Mother Earth's womb her heart and the inherent wisdom she yearns to impart. You are being reminded that we are all related and that even when you believe yourself forsaken, you are being cradled and nurtured by Mother Earth. So I feel like, you know, that's a message for some, but I also feel like some of you are going through a long process here of a rebirth having to do, if I read these together, with a home situation. If it's not buying your own home, it could be anything in your home life, your home situation. Wow. Okay. So let's see what the dowry has to say. Oh, and I opened it right to it. Uh, let's see. Making preparations for the next phase of your life, encouraging you to begin gathering together all that you need to ensure a productive future for yourself. He is asking you to build your bower, to prepare your dowry, be it in the form of extra or further study, saving, self-worth, spiritual de development, or something else. So, yeah, this is building your foundation, building, you know, gathering what you need, your tools, your foundation, your stability for this rebirth. So, again, you could be going into a new career and really, you know, studying and, you know, going to college or whatever, or you could be, like I said, saving, working hard, finally being able to buy your own home, you know, whatever it is here for you. So let's clarify, uh, turtle mother earth for you, Taurus. Let's clarify mother earth, turtle, for Taurus. What is that about? It's too many. I just want one for Taurus. What is this Mother Earth about? Oh, okay. What is this Mother? <laughs> You're giving me clumps. I just want one. What is this Turtle Mother Earth about? Okay. So now we have the Empress. 
So this is being in your energy. This is being secure, stable, grounded, knowing your value, your worth. And this is a mother figure. Empress can be a mother figure. So this could have something to do with a mother figure in some way, shape, or form. Or you could be a mother. Or this is just being in your empress power. Some of you could be opening your own business. And it's a very slow, it's been a long, slow, hard process here. Or, you know, just being, like I said, in that empress power. Being strong, stable, grounded, loving, caring, nurturing, giving, um having truth and clarity and standing up for yourself being being a very passionate go-getter type of energy this always gives birth to new things so that's so funny because we got mother earth and the empress is like mother earth so wow okay so what is this rebirth about for so we got the page of wands in reverse so i mean upright it's about good news coming in something exciting passionate a uh, new endeavor a new project a new job or just communication or just good news of some kind but it was in reverse so it might have been you know still you know good news coming in but it's just you know maybe you've had a lot of bad things happen along the way a lot of bad um you know things that just happen that delayed this process I don't want to say bad things, but things that just, you know, just life, just things that occurred in life, like something happened. Oh, this happened to a family member or this happened, you know, my car broke down. I had to buy a new car and now it's, you know, it's putting a delay in all my plans. You know, just things like that, like things that keep happening that uh, delayed this good news or this good thing moving forward. Okay. So, but you do have rebirth there. So that is, you know, coming into fruition. It's just, I think you had a lot of things happen along the way that put a pause on everything. All right. So what is this dowry about for Taurus? So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is working hard, mastering your craft, putting in the dedicated effort. Effort. So yeah, really working hard, gathering everything here, putting in the dedicated effort. And I had said that I felt some of you were working hard, saving your money, um, building up like a nest egg, like a nest with the dowry bird there to be able to, you know, have this rebirth and this new beginning, whether it's Again, like I said, a new career, or I feel for strongly for some, it's a new home. Spirit wants you to know if you're going through this process now that things will be fine. You may have ups and downs along the way with the page of wands in reverse. But just to keep moving on, working hard, moving forward. Because you have next card out, prosperity. So what is that about? Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Oh, wow. <laughs> the Ace of Cups, divinely guided for you. Peace, happiness, joy, love, everything here. Being like over, like overfilled, overflowed with joy, happiness, that prosperity, emotional fulfillment, peace, happiness, fulfillment in every single way, divinely guided for you. All that prosperity coming in. And feeling that just love, compassion, peace, and harmony. Some of you, it could be a brand new love. Some of you, it's just being in that total state of awe, of all this that's happened for you and being so overjoyed and happy, and just overflowing. Wow, okay. Taurus, uh, Spirit wants you to know it's coming in for you. There's, It's being handed to you by divine. As long as you keep moving forward and you don't give up, no matter what you go through, you stay in your empress power. Yeah, because I have the five of wands, so conflict here. So I feel that belongs over here, like conflicts along the way. Whatever conflicts or things that come up along the way, just to keep moving and going on and everything will be fine. You can get through all that. So we have Counselor here, Archangel Azrael. You are a natural counselor. And many people benefit from your guidance, reassurance. So this is temperance here. This is about balance. 
peace, harmony, patience, healing energy. So I feel like, yeah, you, and I have felt that, you know, if some of you, um, because we have over here compensation, so say, like I said, you're not good with finances, but you're good at planning this, this or that, or whatever here, temperance here, somebody here that can come in and give you balance in the areas where you're not so good at. So if, you know, again, balance, I'm getting like with finances. So some of you, if you're thinking about, well, I don't know, maybe I should get a financial counselor. I don't know if I can afford it. I don't know if I should do that, blah, blah, blah. Spirit wants you to know it's probably for your best interest. It will really balance things out for you. All right. So, or if it's not finance, it could be anything. If you're thinking about seek, seeking counseling from any place, anybody, anything, Spirit wants you to know that you should probably do that. All right. What's this clear audience about? Clear audience. So we do have a communication there. Let's see what this one is. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. So wow, we got two. This is two of Sagittarius. I'm not really doing signs because it's not about signs. But this is about fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in your favor, things turning for the better, divine wheel of timing here. So I, I do feel, and I felt that, because you see all the signs and symbols here and everything here. And I had felt that your spirit guides, your angels are trying to communicate with you, sending you signs, symbols, cloud formations, uh, anything here, you know, names, numbers, um, songs or whatever here. Spirit wants you to know to pay attention to that because they're trying to lead you and they're trying to show you the way to get this wheel to turn to go in the right direction. They're trying to show you the way. So if you're hearing that, you're seeing things, really pay attention to that. All right. So I want to leave, read just a tiny bit here about the dream walker, which is number eight. Um, dreams really can and do come true. Um, let's see. I just want to read a small part. The dream walker is beside you to help you move effortlessly through the illusions, observing the truth and celebrating the waking dreams of your life that results. So exactly what I had just said. So, you know, breaking free from illusions and seeing the good and everything. And, you know, your dreams do come true. Taking that action and movement forward, not giving up. Yeah. Yeah. So we got the Ten of Swords here. So this is about an ending. Oops. So, you know, there may have been a lot of ups and downs. Again, like here, like I felt like a lot of endings, new beginnings, endings, new beginnings, whether it's like the ending of friendships or having to switch careers or relationships, whatever here. And maybe, you know, those really got you down because you see this man is like down for the count. So maybe there were a lot of things that happened to you that got you down you know, certain endings here, but it's telling you to still stay focused on your main dream or whatever here that you're, uh, striving for. Whatever endings you've been through, you can still have your dream here. So the rainbow prints here, compensation, perseverance. So compensating using your, using your good qualities, you know, and compensating for maybe what you're not so good in. But keep going on, moving on, fighting on. Queen of Cups. So, you know, love, compassion, fulfillment, um, happiness and joy, love and emotions, intuition, listen to your intuition. In a loving, caring, compassionate energy. You know, you could probably compensate with your, you know, with maybe you're a very loving, caring, compassionate person. So maybe you compensate in that energy for things that you lack or things that, you know, and that's how you persevere on, if that makes sense for some of you. Spirit wants you to know to keep in that energy. Hmm, okay. To stay in that high vibration energy of peace, harmony, love, compassion, listening to your gut and your intuition. So 
Desert Prince Survival, False Promises. So the chariot, yeah, to keep moving on, fighting on, not giving up, moving forward with determination, balance, go-getter kind of energy, just going after it and being very successful. So if there's been a lot of false starts, I'm getting like false starts, like, you know, okay, we're doing good, and then boom, something happens over here, and now, okay, now i got to start all over again, or puts a pause, puts a break here. Like false starts here, false promise of a start. you got to stop and start again, or whatever here. But surviving that, and keep moving on, with a lot of drive, ambition, go-getter, uh, balanced energy here to success and victory. And that's your last card. I will go over the bottom of the deck, but Spirit wants you to know you will be moving forward with success, victory, drive, ambition, go-getter, not to give up. Keep going on. Wow. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to go over the bottom of the deck, but before I do that, if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a Spirit Guide messages. I do a singles reading who's coming towards you. I do a love connection reading for someone you have a connection with. And I also do a general tarot forecast, which is a general reading. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. Okay, Taurus, let's see what's on the bottom. So we have the Knight of Swords. So again, this is sort of like the chariot energy, moving forward fearlessly with a lot of drive, you know, very quick, fast-paced energy. So just be mindful that you don't do anything reckless or foolish along the way that you'll reg regret later with this energy. Knight of Cups, yeah. So we have two knights here. So we've got the Knight of Swords who can be reckless and foolish, who's very uh, quick and maybe doesn't think so clearly as they move forward. But the Knight of Cups here take a little slow approach of, you know, um, compassionate energy, loving, caring, nurturing, giving, compassionate energy. Moving forward in that energy to your wish fulfillment, wish dreams coming true and wish fulfillment, happiness and joy. Page of Cups. So it could, you know, this can speak of children. Maybe you have children that support you. Maybe you'll be mo moving forward with your children. Um, nines can sometimes indicate a solo energy. Maybe you'll be moving forward with just your children and you for some of you. And this is also apologies. It can be a love offer coming in. Some of you may have a love offer coming in. Some of you may be expecting um, or hoping to, you know, may get news that you're going to be expecting or somebody around you or a family member, friend, uh, a child or something like that who is an adult. So how that resonates for you. But this is about loving, caring, nurturing, giving, also communication. Tower moment. So, or it could have been there was a tower moment, a shake up, breakdown, fight, argument here. And then maybe apologies. So mending the fences. Yeah, being a little confused about it. But then people coming back together uh, with love and appreciation for some of you. Bring justice into the situation or... Justice matters, legal matters for some. Could be divorce for some. This could be this whole process here. Um, yep, but having peace, balance, harmony again. Um, after confusion, after a tower moment, maybe an apology or just, again, different messages here. It could be support of a child. It could be apology. It could be a love offer coming in. It could be just, you know, very loving, caring, giving, nurturing kind of communication. Um, or some people could be getting news that they're expecting, wish fulfillment, joy, being in that loving, compassionate energy moving forward, but be mindful of any reckless, foolish um, energy of rushing forward too quickly. So be mindful of that. Wow, Aries. <laughs> that was a lot of messages. Oh, Aries. I just did Aries. I'm sorry. This is Taurus. <laughs> Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries. I don't know. But Taurus, um, I hope some of these uh, messages resonated for you. And if they did, um, again, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. So best of luck to you here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.